From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the stone so age, I was playing on Deity earlier when I noticed his is first Peter steps guy I'm playing he loves far. to overexpand like he now just he, co he colonizes quest. everywhere he can even in like from this nowhere cradle of civilization and then he starts begging everyone for luxuries Embrace and he's throwing like thousands of gold for one lux soft. that's hilarious and really bad news for the balance of the game Oh wow, new continents already? Started on Europe. Well, I started on the continents of Europe? Amazing. I probably should have settled on top of the With oranges. another continent in in sight of my capital. So I just I guess I immediately get that uh, inspiration. Yep, me too. I found Nupe. Uh, mining? Yeah, mining. Starting with a builder, actually. As much as I want to scout, I want to hook this stuff up soon. Especially that horse. I've got a horse in my cap. So hopefully there's some iron nearby. That'd be amazing. Yep. Hello, folks. Uh, hello, YouTube. I'm recording multiplayer game here in Civ 6. Came out this morning. Playing with uh, Filthy Robot and some other folks online. Of course. Playing as Russia, who I haven't played before. They are kind of like Shoshone from Civ 6, or from Civ 5. They get extra land tiles when they found a city. So when we founded St. Petersburg, we instantly got these four tiles over here. And these uh, four tiles there. These three and that one. So we get eight extra tiles when you found a city. That's a big deal. Uh, Russia also gets extra, uh, what do you call it? Yield from Tundra tiles. They get one faith and one production extra. Oh no, it's one faith and one food extra from Tundra Tiles. And that's kind of a big deal. It doesn't really help you on ice because ice is still useless. But the fact that Russia can make use of Tundra Tiles makes them uh, a little more versatile. So I'm trying them out today to see how they play. I honestly don't know if we're gonna finish this game. I don't think we will. It'd be nice to finish a game, but since we're playing with kind of random online people, it's you know pretty unlikely that we'll go all the way through, but we'll see. That's one of the downfalls of playing Civ multiplayer is people tend to drop out of the game and it's like, you don't really want to play this up? Are you all moving at the same time? This is simultaneous play, right? Um, Not yeah. turn-based? It looks like we're all going at the same time. The, the okay. little, you see the little uh, icons on the top right of all the players? The, yeah. If there's multiple ones down at the same time, those players are still active during their turn. So if there's more than one, then that means yeah. we're in simultaneous. Nice, nice. Uh, is your icon on the far, far right? Your Civ icon? Yes. Okay. I was hoping that might show you the actual turn order as far as like who's got uh, first move and last move, but apparently not. Because I'm on the far, far right as well. Got a big old nasty desert surrounded by rainforest, because that makes sense. <laughs> Chat is joshing you. Uh-oh, more truncated multiplayer whenever Filthy gets bored. <laughs> Who deserves could more could be? Okay, we got some barbs. Was it truncated because I got bored yesterday? I was irrelevant yesterday. There was no way I was going to come back into that game from the position yeah. I was in. Like, like so. I said, they're joshing you. Don't, don't yeah. take it personally. Okay. Uh, pottery or no? Let's get camps first, so we can hook up the horses right away. Horses are a really nice tile. Uh, two food, two production. You hook it up with a camp, it becomes three production. It's so nice. Uh, for the oranges, we're going to need irrigation. For the wine, we're going to need irrigation. And for the silver, we just need mining or gypsum, whatever. The problem with this is it's it's the third tile away from our city, so it's going to take a while to expand there. But, oh well. Any guys in chat, you have the game yet? Hello, Mr. Sheepy. Hello, Dasku. All right, I'm going to hook up the copper first because copper actually gives us gold. Two gold, one food, two production. I think after a mine, it'll be three production. 
But yeah, those two gold, I, I really want that to, to work. Oh, right, let me set my city on production focus and food focus so that it will grow and produce as much as possible. Salt's up here, okay. So this is really nice. We have three Luxes in our cap and there's two other Luxes that I haven't found before. All right, two other Luxes that are not from my cap uh, right up here. So that's really convenient. I'm gonna slinger now. I think exploring is a little bit difficult. It, it depends on how close your uh, barbarians are to your cities. And it also depends whether the barbarians have uh, horses next to them. If you have a barb camp with horses nearby, that barb camp is going to be shitting out horses all over you and they're going to be a huge problem. If they don't... Oh, another horse. If the barb camps do not have horses, then they're not going to be as big of a problem. You can probably just ignore them and scout at your heart's content. Um, but I honestly don't think it's worth the risk. I honestly don't think it's worth the risk. I think it's just a much safer play to assume the barbs will have horses and uh, they're going to be a menace. I need to find some fresh water up here so I can settle and get these luxes and horse. If I can't find, I mean, I guess I could settle right there, but that doesn't get the silver. There's some fresh water here. Um, yeah, I'd like to get that silver as well. Maybe we just don't worry about it. Maybe I just settle here anyway and just hook up the uh, horses and salt. That is best. It's not bad. All right, first civics changes. Uh, what do we want to get here? Well, we already have bonus for that, so let's grab that real quick. I do want to target this policy conscription very, very soon, so let me queue that up. What do we got over here? Ooh, more salt. Damn. Yeah, I might just settle on that salt. Then we'll have to find some fresh water up there. Fresh water is so important. It gives you three extra, three extra housing capacity if you settle on fresh water or next to fresh water. Uh, another slinger or the monument? Let's get the monument out. Camp next turn. So I think I'm just going to waste my turn and sit there. Fill policy slots. Whoopsie. Got it. Oof, just in time. Trying to talk of pigs. and explain my reasoning while I'm playing is uh, difficult when there's a turn timer. Ooh, I see someone already. Who is blue and white? Is that America? I think that's America. All right, we finished our camps. Get that hooked up. Plus one production. Very nice. And uh, archery would be nice, but it's probably more important that we get horseback riding. So let's do that right now. Eight turns away. Yeah, horseback riding is just so key. Um, we also are going to need uh, encampments. Let's get the encampments first. Yeah, I don't know all the colors quite yet, but I think that is America's colors. Yeah, blue and white. That's got to be America. He's kind of close to my cap. Hmm. Yeah, there's another horse over here. I, I just need to get all the horses. That's just so important. I'm going to build a settler as soon as his monument's done. Yep. Who is this? Just a fucking AI? No, it's Detreya. Does it does it not say Detreya anywhere in here at all? Oh, that's weird. Shouldn't it say the multiplayer person's name here? It just says Teddy Roosevelt America. Oh, in any case, send him some gold. Um, farm, farm, maybe? Don't really want to throw down farms, but our pop is very fragile here. Uh, mines might be better for us. I could even chop. I'm probably going to chop the settler. Let's just get this chopped. I've only seen that one barb scout, so I, there's no way I'm going to get this bonus to kill three barbs. Ain't going to happen. Hello, her god. How do you think you'll prioritize tech early? Will you not rush pottery for granary? No, I don't think the granary is that important, to be honest. Hello, Washington. Uh, Are you Russia? Yeah, I'm Russia. Hello. I'll You're send very you close. I'll send you a delegation. Yeah, I'm really close to America, too. Uh, I would like a peaceful uh, existence with you to have uh, some focus on the late game. So I will offer in uh, return for that. I will offer to spare your builder for the beginning of a good relationship between our empires. Is that something we could do? It's fine with me. Awesome. 
some more oranges down here. Okay, you need to find some fresh water over there. Maybe I shouldn't focus too much on fresh water, but I do care about that plus three housing. It's just so convenient to have more housing. What do you want to chop into? Mm, I don't know. Losing frames? No, we're not losing a frame. That's the positive aspect of trade, I Not losing frames. I don't know, chopping doesn't seem that great here. Like, what, what the fuck would I chop into? I don't have any buildings available. Maybe I don't chop. Okay, trade delegation. Got it, got it. Those little notices aren't that obvious. I guess I could just build a mine. Yeah, let's just build a mine for now. Grassland mines are actually really nice because it's uh, you get food and production out of it. It's something you probably wouldn't expect from a mine. It's kind of nice. Exploring down here. It's got a slinger out. Cool. Uh, are, are you on the other side of Kabul? Or are you south or north of Kabul? Where are you? I'm southwest of Kabul. Okay, so you're like directly west of me. He's got two cocoa up there. Uh, America's up in the northeast. He has lots of chocolate, believe it or not. More gypsum? Okay. Got an envoy from Kabul. Mm. All right. Switch this to... Let's get a slinger. Let's get a slinger. No, let's get our scout. Well, uh, I kind of want to grow once we hit four pop, not three pop. Let's get another builder. How much is it for irrigation, by the way? Farmer resource. Yeah, I don't have those tiles. I could buy the tile. We'll see. Happy 7.30 a.m. Hold your fire. I know it's early, right? Signe is a tool. Got a natural wonder. Carthage. Oh, I have not seen the Carthage city-state before. What do they do? I don't know. Encampment districts provide plus one trade route capacity each. Oh my god, that's good. It's really good. Because in multiplayer, you're going to be building encampments everywhere. So it's like a second commercial district, essentially. Yeah, I think I'm going to buy that wheat tile. Because we haven't expanded our borders at all. Two, three, four. Yeah, we just haven't expanded. Oh, no, we did get this. We got a forest. Whatever. I've only seen that one barbarian. I wonder why. Where the hell are the other barb camps? There's got to be barb camps down here, right? There's always barb camps in the frozen wastelands. That's one of the downsides of starting in... Uh, or I guess starting as Russia. Is you're going to have tundra in your cap. Which means you're going to be either in the north or the south polar district. And uh, you really never want to settle down there. There's just nothing useful. So you're going to wind up with barbs Without all day. Oh, there's the barbs. Wow, yeah. Um, that means the barb camp is right there. Because this guy, the spearman. Yeah, okay. Interesting. We'll start working on this little scoot guy. Scoot guy. And uh, let's keep exploring. More cocoa. Oh. What did we unlock? We unlocked production towards naval units, production towards ancient and classical melee and ranged units, double experience for recon. I think I'm, I think I'm fine with what we have for now. Hopefully the spearman goes back to his camp. He probably will. So did your delegation? Oh wow, yeah. These these little delegations when you send when you send notices to other civs, it's so not obvious. I sent the notice to America yeah. fifth, or ten turns ago, and he just now accepted it. Yep, yeah, it's a pain. I'm just going to buy this wheat. I'm going to get irrigation up soon. Hook up those uh, those two luxes.
All right, so we'll grow to four. The settler will finish at the same time. That'll put us back down to three pop. That's perfectly fine. You found any other sieves? Just a sec. You can set it to Twitch shows the video stats. We're not certain if Shenna's losing frames. Uh, no, I'm not losing any frames. If if anything's being lost, it's either on your side or it's Twitch itself. It's very likely probably Twitch's problem because they've had some issues with the streams lately. Uh, let me get my timer up so I can actually keep track of how long these videos are. I've not been doing a very good job of keeping track of these videos because I'm focused so much on learning the game. Timer, put it on 25 minutes, turn off the sound. Found uh, Japan. You are Japan. Uh, China, I mean. <laughs> okay. Decisions last turn. I ran out of time for movements. Sorry about that. It's all good. I'm just going to settle the salt. Do I want another builder right away? I mean, another uh, settler right away? Mm. I want another slinger. Let's get some more units. Yeah, this just goes on and on and on. Looks like I'm in the middle of the continent. It's, it's just, I'm, I'm going east and it just keeps going on and on. So if he found China, he's probably north or west. How to disable the audio unit cycle. Uh, there should be a very easy way to, to do that. Can someone make a command? Can one of the mods make a command? You have to go to your... My documents directory, Civ6, and then in there, there's a, a text file you edit. You just put a zero instead of a one. It's actually called auto unit cycle inside that text file. So it's, it's really easy to do. Still protect that settler. Get me that trader. Start trading next turn. Let's buy the wheat tile. More silver, huh? gives us the bonus towards irrigation. So next turn we can start building the encampment and um, start researching irrigation. There's double luxes down here. I definitely need to settle this. Even if there's not fresh water, I need to settle it. It's just too important to get the, the happiness luxes going here. Like this, the double salt, that's that's just too good. I wish I could settle on the, the hill here for the extra protection that it provides, but I can't because there's no fresh water. And besides, this has a bonus of giving me another horse. Holy shit, that's nice. It's allocation, okay. Yeah, I was I was surprised. Uh, Baba had a game last night I'm also where um, in everyone just went to war, and Baba just crushed everyone. That's he was much better at war. But today, he was having a game, and he's like, turn 100, and nobody has gone to war. It's nuts. The only war was someone got killed by barbarians, and that's it. Found some iron. Okay. Three gold or one production? I could get one production and three gold. Nah, I need a road between my cities. All right, so let's start the encampment. Uh, we can put it on this tile, I guess. It's not ideal. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how it plays out like that. Like, probably people saw some early war and saw how like crippling it is. Oh, it's nuts. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't understand why your uh, war exhaustion wasn't going away. That's just bonkers. I do. Uh, I, uh, not Q looked into the code for me and uh, told me about it. So basically, it was going down. It's going down by 200 points per turn. But I had over 7,000 war weariness, war weariness at that point. So it was going down. It's just there was a lot of it. That's insane, though. Like, wh why would it take so long? Once you hit peace, your people should be like. Mm. I had 23 turns. I hadn't gone from negative four to minus three yet. But it did cap at minus four. So that you could just think of warring as costing you four. Oh, did you see that bad life desynced? 
Is he they reconnecting? Are, it says they're reloading, yeah. These indicators aren't that good. <laughs> Little goody head over there. How's it? Is it like 60 gold to buy a scout? Yeah. On this fast speed, it's pretty quick. To, or it's pretty cheap to get a scout. I'm just going to go explore down here. I want to see if there's a, a source of fresh water so I can settle and get those two luxes. And I need to check up here to see if there's any, any you know, fresh water for that silver lux. Switch over to irrigation. God, I keep forgetting the important stuff. I'm going to pause when people re desync next time if I can, or at least try. Oh, that's a good idea. Just wait for them to come back. I'm not sure if they can join when it's paused. Yeah. I assume they can. I assume they can too. I don't know if I can pause while they're joining, though. It might auto limit, limit that. Wow, someone built a wonder. America just built the Hanging Gardens. Okay. Get another scout. Just keep growing for now. Found... Hong Kong. What does Hong Kong do? 20% production towards city projects. What is a city project? Is that just building anything or is... Oh, the projects. Oh, 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 oh. So if we check out our city, we don't have any projects yet. Once the encampment finishes underneath units, you'll see projects. You can collapse these if you want to see what's beneath them. So if you have like a ton of units selectable, you can uh, just collapse the entire unit tree to see what stuff is down there. What is this? I almost banned this player from the lobby because he was acting too impatient. Like he might be like four years old or something in real life. With the bad for life guy? Yeah. All right, it's gonna be a few turns before I can hook that up. So let's get the horses instead. And we can start. Um... Oh, do we finish the encampment? Doesn't look like it. It does. We finished, that looks, that's done. That does not look like a finished encampment. I got, oh God, it spawned horses. Okay, this encampment has to go. It, it's got horses. Oh, that's so bad for me. Got a promotion, okay. As soon as the scout's done, we're gonna get some horsemen out. If this encampment's actually done, it says it's done. Wait, no, it's not done, is it? No, it's not done. I switched away from finishing it. Okay, it's done next turn. Then we can start putting some horses out. Don't even have to improve this. Yeah. Normally, you need two sources of horses to get one horseman out. But if you get an encampment, then you can do it with the, that city. You can do it with just one resource of horses. That's kind of cool. Yeah, these barbs are so dangerous if they have horses nearby. We got to get rid of that encampment. That is that is just nuts. That is bonkers dangerous. We have iron up in uh, Kazan. That's very nice. And there's some iron by our cap too, but we need to settle over here somewhere. Who's this? That's a city-state, huh? Okay. Well, we might just have to settle next to the mountain or something just to claim this stuff. That, or maybe we conquer the city-state. I don't know. We'll see. I thought claim it is equally important. Okay, irrigation's coming up. We got ourselves conscription. I'll turn that on as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and get new government types. Are we going to focus on culture? Maybe. We definitely need happiness, but I don't know if we need culture. Some some games you need it, some games you don't. It's kind of hard to justify it sometimes. Well, let's at least get our government going first. Before we worry too much about this. Uh, yeah, kill that. Fantastic. Promotion available. Oh, you didn't kill it. Oh, balls. I think I have to kill it. God, is that like 2 HP? Alright. 
Encampment's done. Okay, obviously it's done now. It's got the little health bar thing. Look that shit up. You got one more build. One more build. Cool. Ah, uh, boy. Hello, Mahendo Jaro. Okay. Still don't see any fresh water here. And uh, he is actually too far away to get this citrus. That's interesting. What does that mean? It's there. all buggy he doesn't know. You're asking me? No, I'm complaining. <laughs> oh man, I have a barb camp with a horse. It is painful. I'm just gonna run away. Hopefully we can heal up, but that guy's probably dead. Horse is just gonna run at him. Double iron? Oh, boy. Oh, man. Do you know how tempting it is to burn this city down? I, I, know, I want to settle on this hill. This hill would get all of this stuff. Double iron, stone, double silver, and the oranges. This hill would be amazing. But I have to burn down Mahendo Jara because it's too close. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll burn down Mahendo Jara. In the meantime, get me some horses. Oh, I don't have the tech for it? Are you serious? I didn't tech horses? Oh, fuck me. We're five turns from horses. <laughs> oh, let's get a warrior then. Why didn't I get horses? We didn't listen. We didn't listen. Fuck me, man. Yeah, we're gonna have to burn this down. Sorry, CD State, but you gotta go. Yeah, I knew it. He went for my uh, wounded slinger. I couldn't do much about that. This is why barbs are so fucking dangerous. Or, or barb horsemen, I mean. There we go. Got rid of the barb camp. That's good. Lost a slinger. We'll get another slinger. It's fine. We're building it one per turn. Um, I can't settle this until we kill this guy. So we're going to have to get this horseman out and kill him quickly. Yeah, that is such a nice settle. Let me put down a pin so I know what the fuck I'm doing. Why don't we call that episode here? We'll come back next time for more adventures in Civilization VI with Russia. Have a good day.